Hello everyone, Gift of Soul here back for another video. In this video, I am doing a general monthly forecast for the month of March 2022 for all fire signs. So Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, if you are any of those signs mentioned, this is the video for you to watch. This is collective, so keep in mind that it is not going to resonate with everyone. Keep in mind that also this is for entertainment purposes only and it's not at all to substitute for any legal, financial, medical, or any other type of advice given to you by a qualified professional. Free will is a way of life. We're all in control of our own destinies in the end. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, contact me, follow me on Instagram or anything of the sort. Everything is in the description box below. And you will also find my website and my Etsy shop in the pinned comment section as well. Let's go ahead and get started. Fire signs, March 2022. So this could be predictions and advice or just whatever spirit wants to bring up right now. Okay, so wake up call. Hmm, I see some aha moments coming to you this month. Um, I'm even seeing like secrets being revealed also. And this is a call that you definitely do need to answer to because I feel like even though it looks like it's like stormy weather in this car and it says tsunami, I'm getting that you can avoid that type of energy if you answer this call. And it could literally be a phone call also. So just make sure that you're answering all of your phone calls in case a number, well, uh, now, if you know it's a spam number, you don't have to, but I definitely do feel like there is a call that you don't want to miss this month for some of you. Or that call that maybe you've been waiting for is going to come this month, but it could be like on an unknown number or something. Maybe even, I wouldn't say private number, but like a just a number um, showing up on your phone that maybe you haven't seen. So just follow your intuition when it comes to those numbers coming on your phone. Um, if you should answer or not. So fire, music, harmony. I feel like getting in touch with the music of your soul, maybe um, something coming together. I'm focused on her. Uh, harmony here and not necessarily this up here but you could be needing to get into some music or pay attention to certain songs this month um but something is coming together and it could definitely be because of this call that i mentioned we have breach okay so I took some time to meditate on this card here. Um, and this is you possibly needing to take a step back from something or take a temporary break from something so that something can get stronger. I feel like it's only going to happen again if you kind of take a step back. And I feel like this is going to be different for each person watching this or whatever it could be saying, taking a step back from. Um, yeah. Yeah, so definitely going to be different, again, energy for everyone. So that is what the Earth Magic uh, Oracle has to offer. So now we're getting to the Wisdom of the Golden Path by Tony Carmine Salerno, which is another deck that I want to be working with a lot in spring, March especially.
so fire signs space clearing yeah clearing up clearing your space i'm going back to this uh breach card here and maybe getting into crystals and incense could help you as well maybe doing some saging is important for you this month or maybe just getting organized and like putting stuff on hangers and cleaning and in that type of sense okay don't compromise so this is about you needing to not settle for less this month going after what it is that you want completely and not just halfway um receiving what you want spirit says you can go for the whole thing and this is there's a need for you to be assertive in march as well rose petals hmm I feel like somebody could be showing their appreciation for you or showing you some type of recognition um, in March. And for some of you, this recognition comes from an earth sign, maybe. Uh, for some of you. So uh, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Okay, so now we're getting to the Moonology or, or Moonology Manifestation Oracle. Our card did just fly out, but we have put it back in. If it's meant, no matter how many times I shuffle, it is going to come back out. I'm hearing win-win situation. take inspired action full moon and virgo and the funny thing about this is i was just about to say stepping into your virgo energy with the clearing space card here getting organized um but i feel like this rose petal energy this energy of somebody recognizing you and appreciating you that's going to allow you to become more inspired and it's going to help you move forward in some type of way There is the moonology. And now we're going to get to the eye candy oracle by my friend V Love and Crystals and on her other channel, V Love and Tarot. Okay, we got cards flying. Everywhere. My intention is to only get three from this particular deck. The death card here. Something coming to an end or a new beginning of some kind is on the horizon for you in March. And I keep hearing water energy as well. Um, that could be in other areas of your chart or maybe someone in your energy. We have rewards. So like I said, you being recognized and appreciated. 
A lot of blessings coming your way. Clutter. Back to clearing space. Or space clearing. Same thing. But wow. So definitely a month for you guys to really get organized and prioritize. And I'm feeling called to pull you guys one more. I've been doing three for each element from this deck. But I don't know why Spirit is driving me to pull another one. And we have Insanity. I feel like, yeah, your mind may be, or it could be even now. But I do feel like a lot of you are going to have like a lot on your mind in March. Well, we are in March. I keep saying right now as though we are still in February. But... We are in March. Um, so you could have a lot on your mind right now. Your mind could be cluttered. Um, but yeah, there's some things you're needing to get rid of. Some decisions you're needing to uh, make as well. You're sitting on some decisions now that's not helping you with the clutter. I feel like you know what to do, but you're scared to take action. All right, so now we're getting to Modern Witch Tarot for a few tarot cards. And then we're going to get an affirmation. Whoa, that was weird. <laughs> that just flipped over like I don't know what so we have three of pentacles here and this is taking action basically collaboration teamwork um maybe allowing people to help you declutter also maybe somebody's helping you move uh some of you could be in the process of moving right now or may get an opportunity to move in March or some type of resource helping you get there all right let's see Knight of Wands I just seen this in another reading that I did before I upload before this one Hmm. So what the Knight of Wands is symbolizing, I don't know why, but right now I'm getting a sense of like pride with this. You don't like for people, I feel like I'm getting a sense of you believing that if you want something right, you have to do it yourself. But I do feel like you're going to come across the right people this month that's going to help take you out of that mindset. Uh, the high priestess, following your intuition, your intuition being heightened in March, um, your psychic abilities being at um, its highest frequencies, you need to um, um, allow your vibrations to be higher in March. And this is deeper knowing. And I don't know if I said that. I think I said this in this reading. I'm not sure. It might have been in the other one, but let me see. Yeah, I think I said that um, in the other reading. But So the hanged one. So back to figuring out um, what's the best options for you i just wanted to look at that up or upside uh right side up because well the hangman is meant to be like this so this is upright but i just felt like looking at it like this for a moment but i'm hearing on your toes you're going to be doing a lot of moving around in march as well but i feel like on the way on that journey you're going to feel or see a lot of spiritual signs and answers. Okay. 
five of wands so maybe some competition or maybe you feeling like there's some competition spirit is wanting you to remember or to see competition as inspiration instead of competition and knowing that there is enough room for you to make it as well as the others i do feel like this is also about a need for you to possibly try to work well with others this month even if you already are doing that i feel like spirit wants you to keep doing it um because it will pay off and i'm also feeling that you may need to keep your options open about something as well. So I'm going to do one more tarot card here and then we'll get to our affirmation. Five of Cups. So this is some type of sadness, some type of spilt milk um, that you're crying over. Spirit, any lost opportunities that you may have in March, I feel that... They are paving the way for something better. Even though these three cups are knocked down, you still have two back there. These are the two cups you're meant to do something with. These other three were not meant for you. Actually, I'm going to do one more tarot card. I don't know why you guys are, you guys are super special today. And we have, wow. Okay, so that's why I felt called to. Because we got, I believe we got the death card from the eye candy oracle here. Um, yeah, death and death. So yeah, definitely new beginnings. Could even be in multiple areas of your life since this came up twice from different decks here. It could be you're having a new beginning in your love life and also your finances. Could be that you're having it in your finances and also or your career and also um some other area of your life okay so now crap <laughs> okay so now we're getting to the affirmation which is coming from the wishcraft oracle cards i guess you would call them oracle cards but they are affirmations the magic starts here, Stacy DeMarco. So I'm just going to get one affirmation for you guys, and that's going to wrap up your reading. All right, so this is for you, fire signs. Try to make sure it's not backwards. And I think it is. Yeah, is it? Yeah. So that is for you, fire signs. And let's see what's on the back. Wish upon a star. So I made from the stuff. I'm, ugh, Jesus Christ. I am made from the stuff of stars. I matter. So your voice matters. You matter. Your creativity matters. The things that you are creating matter. Oh, God. And now I have a song stuck in my head. Um, and maybe this is a song you need to listen to. I don't know the name of it. I just know I've heard it like on commercials. It's like I like it or I love it. I want. I just had it in my head. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. I try so hard. I can't rise above it. I think that is how it goes. I'm not about to sing it, but yeah. Um, yeah. So that's your affirmation. I made from the stuff of stars. I matter. So again, this is how it looks. So that wraps up your March, 2022 forecast. Please leave a like. Subscribe, share if you feel inclined to. Um, leave a comment as well. I love to interact with you guys. If you like to book private readings or contact me or anything like that, everything is in the description box below. You're also going to find my booking sites to book readings, my website and my Etsy shop on the channel banner about me section of uh, my profile on YouTube. And also you're going to find it um, the description box in the pinned comment as well in the comment section so 
thank you guys so much for tuning in and for being here and especially if you've watched the whole video i truly truly appreciate it um i wish you guys love and light and i hope that we can connect again in the next one take care